Hey folks and welcome to a rather soggy Jasper National Park. We've recently upgraded our wood burning stove that we use for camping and I'm here today to do the first burn of the Danchal Outdoors tent wood burning stove. So let's go take a look and see how it fares. Now this particular stove is actually a folding wood stove which means it fits into this little carry bag really really well and it makes it great if you want to take it out on those winter camping trips. Now this is a little bit weighty simply because we chose the stainless steel one but it is available in titanium if you do want something a little lighter. Let's take a look inside. Okay, so what we have in here is the stove itself, which as I say, is a folding stove. We have the chimney, we have the spark arrester, and of course we have the damper. It's also great that they provide this pair of gloves because there are some really sharp edges in here, and particularly when it comes to putting the chimney together. So let's go and get things set up and take a look at how this burns. So the actual body of this wood stove is held in by these Velcro straps. So you just need to release those first of all. And then what you've got here, this is the front of the stove with your little glass window and obviously the air intake. And this is the back of the stove. And that quite simply just lifts up like so and then what you have underneath is the side panel which has also got glass in it and if you can see these little notches here they need to go towards the bottom and they just slide in quite simply like so and then this is the other side of the stove Likewise, you still have these two notches that need to face down and they just slide in simply like that. And then if we turn it upside down, we've got the four legs here. Very simply, just to open up like so. And then the final part in here is of course the roof hole for the chimney which needs to go to the back of the stove and that slides on very simply just like that. Now to secure that roof or, or the lid there's these little clips here and they just very simply just click into place like that. There's also one at the back which works exactly the same and that just makes sure that it's secure. Now the damper is actually a butterfly damper and it has these little notches on the bottom and they slot into the chimney location just here. And the trickiest thing about this particular stove is the chimney. This comes as a flat sheet of stainless steel that you have to roll yourself and it comes with these rings which hold the chimney together. Now I'm actually going to do this off camera because as I say it can be quite tricky and of course there's a reason they provide these gloves because there are some sharp edges. Okay so I'm back. That was definitely a little bit tricky trying to get the chimney together but the good news is that you only have to do this just the once when you're doing that first burn. After that the heat from the burn should make sure that it remembers the shape and it reverts back to this when you next use it. Okay, so the next step is to fit it onto the damper and this goes on the outside and you slide this down and that actually holds it in place so that the smoke goes up the chimney rather than escaping at the bottom here. And then of course we have to put the spark arrestor on the top. That's definitely tall. <laughs> I might have to get my step ladders on that one. one step so that's the stove set up. Pretty easy so far. Now I'm going to get some wood going and get the fire going. 
Okay, so I've already prepared some wood. These pieces are around about 12 inches in length or about a foot, which seems about right for this particular wood stove. And I'm going to start by opening the damper, opening this air vent on the front, and then I'm going to put a bed of wood into the stove and get some fire in there. burning for around about 30 minutes now and as you can see some of that discoloration is starting simply as it starts to react to the heat. These windows are great you can actually see what's going on in there you can see the, the woods burning through everything looks great there's been no leakage of smoke whatsoever. It seems to be a very efficient burn. Um, this wood is quite wet, um, but yeah, it, it, it's doing great at the moment. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close the dampener, I'm gonna close this front vent, and I'm gonna get a little bit more wood on in there, and then I'm gonna make a brew and have a nice cup of coffee to warm things up. Obviously take care because this does get hot. One of the things I forgot to mention earlier is that there are these metal clips on the spark arrestor and these are used to help to uh, position the chimney when it's in the tent. Um, yeah, just to make it a little bit more sturdy, make it more stable and position it correctly. First impressions about this wood stove is that I really do like it. Very easy to put together. Um, you can see there that there's absolutely no leakage from the chimney. Um, it's very sturdy, very well built. Um, these glass windows are fantastic. You can really see what's going on in there. You don't have to keep opening that door to check how things are going or whether you need to put more wood in or not. Obviously they do get quite sooty, um, but they're very easy to clean. And um, I have to say that I really am looking forward to using this wood stove during those winter months when we go hot tenting. That's the first burn of the Danchell Outdoors Wood Burning Tent Stove. I hope that you've enjoyed joining us today. If you have, please do consider subscribing and of course hit that like button too. For now though, thanks again for joining me and I shall see you all again on our next adventure.